of our Chevy 350 ZZ6 swap. Hey dude, I come bearing headers. I found some headers last night. And the question is, will they fit? That's one side. <laughs> sure, why not? What do you think? <laughs> Wanna try putting them in? Uh, yeah, in a way. Now it's better than later. Yeah. You know? You think those will work? I'll get back to you when well, we get I'm, closer I'm, to I'm, it. Well, I'm, not I'm sure they'll fit the engine. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> no, that's what I mean. I mean, is there going to be stuff? Is there like a rail that's going to get in the way? Or, uh, you know, is the uh, bell housing going to get in the way of those? That's what I'm worried about. Here, let me undo them for you. There you go. That's what I'm worried about. Not, not the, you know, we can figure out how to fit the exhaust to them. Yeah, that, no, that yeah, no, but no, worrying about how that relates to the truck is, is the smartest worry you can have. That's the worry I have. So here are the old ones, guys. This is what came out of the truck. I'm really gonna miss that rat's nest. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, if you're gonna put some power through that engine, you gotta have something like that, right? <laughs> if you're gonna open the hood, you gotta have something <laughs> like, like this. this yeah. <laughs> okay, just a rough place to start. So Ted, here's here's um, here's the issue, guys. So the uh, headers came with this reducer, right? Which fits onto this extension pipe that we bought. Cool. But but you just chopped off this pipe, right? Oh, oh. Oops, sorry. That's right. Okay, so a little stepper. Well, yeah, we'll have to get a stepper for this. Now the plan is just to put on the headers and use the current exhaust system so that we can drive it out of here. But we will swap out the exhaust system. But just, Oh, yes, have yeah. a nice one made, yeah. But that's where we got the nice headers. Yeah, so yeah. We, at least we have the part that attaches to the engine. Yeah. But, you know. And you know, for the time being, just for running it, yeah. we don't even have to attach this to the rest of the system. We can just slip it over, leave it, and, and drive it to whatever muffler shop is gonna make it nice. It's gonna be loud. Sorry I didn't do this first. Doesn't look, doesn't look bad. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it was stupid to do it from the top. Look at that. Stupid. <laughs> By the way, my little cut down here lined up really nice. <laughs> yeah, I think they had these things in mind. Okay, so, uh, you know, we know it'll hang there. Uh, go ahead and let it go backwards a little bit, so just so I can hang it on. Okay, like, I got it. Off I got it. You got it. Yeah, too. I got it. Is there a right side or a wrong side? You know, is there two different sides? It looks like it. Actually, go uh, head toward the cars left a little bit. Trucks left. Just yeah. kind of. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oil filter look better. Yeah. Because this does too. It's probably doable. Oh yeah, I think it'll be fine. These are. Oh, I mean, I think this side's our difficult side, and it looks to me like it's a spectacular fit. So. Don't say that. Don't say that. Uh, come Don't on, say yeah. That. I, I said something optimistic. Three hours you later, know? we're going to be working on the left side. I know. Ugh. Okay. I'm glad that my poisonous uh, attitude is wearing off on you. You know, <laughs> it's proof that you're capable of learning. <laughs> you know, because at the end of the day, vehicles just sap you of the will to live. You know? <laughs> hey guys! If you love the fact that we're doing things like this big green project or running trucks up and down the iGauntlet doing heavy duty MPG testing, well, we really need your support. YouTube revenue is spotty at best and we want you to be part of our team. So go to our Patreon page by clicking on the link or going to patreon.com slash tflcar and support us. We've got basically three pledge levels, midsize, half ton or heavy duty, two, five or ten dollars and help support the team so we can keep bringing you this kind of cool programming and this kind of truck advice. Please join our team. We really need your help. Thanks. Hey, I've always wondered, Ted, on a lot of these old cars, they put like uh, exhaust tape on the headers. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, you know what? The why depends on who's putting it on, yeah. but the two reasons and they're both, they're both legit. Yeah. Um, one of them, if you can kind of keep the heat inside the pipes, 
then you got that much less heat boiling the fuel in the carburetor. Yeah. That that matters more on you know the kind of stuff I work on where the exhaust yeah. is right below That's the carburetors. But uh, but also, have you heard of that effect called heat scavenging? No, what is that? Heat scavenging. It's in fact the reason you have headers. There's all this stuff about wave pulses where, and I'm not the engineer that fully understands it, but but the having equal length runners with the exhaust coming out, <clears throat> um, and and even the length of that, there's kind of a, a shock wave that starts really at the intake and a ends pulse. out. Yeah, a, a pulse. And and equalizing that and even optimizing it, depending on the length of intake you have, but uh, now I'm getting in over my head. Uh, part of that scavenging, that part of that pulse helps draw the exhaust out to make room for your next intake right. charge. So you actually get horsepower through the wave pulses and heat scavenging, I guess, does a similar thing. So if you actually have a really hot manifold, the the heat in your the, the heat of your exhaust will actually draw in a better charge for the next try. I think I'm explaining this right. So keeping the heat in with that header tape will you know keep your fuel cooler and get a better Plus charge. Plus it looks cool. And it looks really cool. It looks really cool. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> now we're putting on this Holly Four barrel. Look at that. There's two more barrels hiding underneath. Yeah. <laughs> this should be uh, really fuel efficient. I'm thinking. Oh, if mileage is your goal, this was the magic bullet. Yeah. <laughs> So you do a lot of car stuff. Do people over carburate? Can you do that? Everybody oh, over carburates. That's the funniest part about it because, of course, all I work on are sports cars, right? But, yeah. but the simple math, if the race cars have big carburetors, big carburetors must mean big speed. So put the biggest ones on there you can. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a disaster because where you drive in the real world is, you know, leaving stop signs and stop lights and trying to beat the guy next to you down the road. And so, uh, that was plenty. Um, yeah, yeah, big carburetors, everybody over carburetes and thinking they're gonna get extra speed and so, what they get is they just lose their drivability because the, the air the air speed through those gigantic carburetors is slower so you can't atomize the fuel as well. And really, I'm a fan of the smallest carburetor you can get away with for, for how you're gonna drive it in the real world. And that's what's really gonna make your car fast. So, yeah, to all you guys with an MGV looking to put gigantic engine three-quarter SUs on your otherwise street engine, don't do it. So guys, we spent uh, Saturday afternoon uh, adding some more uh, bits and pieces to our crate engine, ZZ6. We uh, got headers on. We tightened up the um, bolts that actually hold the engine in place. So that's a good thing, Ted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got our oil pressure, and what was the other one you put on? Uh, oil pressure uh, gauge and light. Oil pressure gauge and light. And of course, we've got our carburetor mounted. Um, of course, the tricky part isn't mounting it. It's actually getting everything. Making it talk to the Yeah, making it work. <laughs> and that's going to be uh, maybe a little bit of a more uh, longer process, because we don't know how we're going to hook up the throttle body yet to the, um, to the carburetor. Right? Throttle cable. Yeah, throttle cable, sorry, not the throttle bottle. Throttle cable. You guys are used to new cars, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, we don't have throttle bodies. <laughs> so, um, come back. Ted, thank you for your hard work today. It's fine. And uh, as always, this is Roman and my man Ted from... Come on, give a pitch out to your shop here. People have... Axe and Allies! In Denver? Does that sound so Do you have a automotive? website? Uh, yeah, I think we have a web page. You have a web It's like axeandallies.com. So, ch yeah. check that out if you have a British or French car. Uh, and uh, as always, this is Roman Ted and Tommy saying, check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, our continuing big green adventure. See you guys next time, ciao. I'm not going away, I'm looking for a vantage point. You want to go up here? Um, Get up here. Nah, this is fine. Sure? Yeah. Okay, so I've got my flashlight on the wheel pressure gauge. Are we good? Tommy's in.